Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a collective energy reading for all signs. Hi my collective. How are you? Um, this is a general reading. Okay, so if it doesn't resonate, please try not to read too much into it. Leave it all behind. I also have a playlist of all the collective energy I've done in the last 30 days. I think I have about 30. I highly recommend you go and watch those there will be a link in this video okay and if again if you like to have another reading you could also get a private reading okay my information below the video let's start your reading and see what the message is for my collective collective energy reading Okay, so someone went really fast in terms of love. They made a connection, and I think something could have unfold really rapidly. Ace of Cups in a reverse, Seven of Cups in a reverse. Maybe there was something that was some type of connection. Maybe people hooked up, or I should say hook up. They did a hook up, right? <laughs> Ace of Cups in the reverse with um, Seven of Cups in a reverse is when you're seeing reality. Now... Someone could have felt loved by someone at some point and then they realized that they were no love. The hanging man here could have something to do with a Pisces. Definitely, someone could be feeling blindsided, all right? But it shows here that they didn't really cross all their T's, all right? Some, some type of uh, withdrawal here. There's really, there's an ending in the relationship here. Let's look into the Seven of Cups in the reverse someone see clearly they were told many many things because see the thing is if you start a relationship already with lies and you're not you don't confront the lies and you you keep that in the back of your head and you continue and then there's something else if you don't confront whatever issue is then that would create like this seven of cups in this position you see that there's fire there's one cup with fire there's one cup with uh, a rainbow is that a rainbow yes there's another one with leaves there's one with a birds the one with like stars different things right it really depends all right so love should when it, when it's true it should be in one cup should be like this right one the biggest cup is the ace of cups all right so this is in a reverse because i feel like It was some illusion in terms of love. It wasn't love. Someone was not really showing or was not seeing things for what, what it was. Ace of Cups in the reverse. All right. Four of Pentacles. All right. So it was not a really... I feel like this is a relationship for, for the sun in the reverse. Wow. It says here, if ever you're in a position where you were with someone, it could be in a commitment as a roommate, uh, you know, uh, school buddies or friends, whatever connection that you've been having that was really strong. It says it's best if you depart from it. That could be for someone here because I have Ace of Cups in a reverse and Four of Pentacles. I feel like someone don't want you. Like, if they're not shining or if they're not happy, they're not going to be really supportive of you. All right? And I think maybe, I think you, someone could see that. How come, like, when now I'm in a good, good place, and I can tell they're not really happy for me, or they're holding back their support. Four of Pentacles is holding back. Someone is holding back. Someone held back from you. The Sun and the Ace of Cups, those things that are necessary in a partnership, and someone purposely held it back. Okay, seven of cups. What can I? What can you tell me, spirit guys? Seven of cups. That spirit says it's best. What once you deliver yourself from this energy, because four of pentacles, someone is a miser energy. Someone is really not fully. They're just. It's that type. That type of imbalanced relationship, right? When like someone really loves to be out. And about all the time needs that energy and someone's like a total introvert. Okay, so that that could be an, a conflict. Now you could be an introvert with an extrovert. It works really well. 
because there's a need for a balance, right? You're going to draw someone, you're going to pull them out, and they're going to pull you and each other. But when it's too extreme, right? Seven of Cups, I think there is some fundamental issues again in this connection. Seven of Cups here, wow. It's just a betrayal. Like I said, you guys, people would be with other people for the for really questionable reasons sometimes. Because, you know, we can't judge, right? Questionable. But you'll see, it's kind of like Seven of Swords, a big betrayal. Someone was really uh, giving all the, at first, allure of love and uh, growth within a partnership with someone they want, that they made someone believe. But then Seven of Swords, some betrayal here. It's hard. I see someone with a dog. Could it have something to do with a dog? Someone could have a dog. Small dog here. Okay. Ooh, this card came out like this. Ten of Pentacles in a reverse. They just didn't want to, to invest in you to have a family with you. Or it could be the other way around. Maybe the ancestor doesn't want you to involve with people like that. Who, want, who would want to be involved with someone whose minds are like this? All right? They don't want you to get out the house or travel or do things because they know maybe someone else going to catch you. And they're feeling very low. All right? So they're keeping you down, always down. And that could be between family members too, right? They, you know, you have someone who's more out and more sociable and maybe another uh, that, that are not. And they, they don't want the other one to go out or mingle as much because they themselves, like, they don't do it at all. So that's just an imbalance, right? Four of Pentacles. So there's a miser who really, who could be preventing you to reach, to reach your full potential here. That could be like a family member, a father, a mother. I don't want to attach any sex to this. Because, but in reality, the Ten of Pentacles is this. You have the resource. You're, you're that, like the treasure chest. You're the treasure chest. And maybe because you didn't see it in yourself. Seven of Cups. Right? There was some type of illusion, illusion into your identity. Who you were. Your capacity. Your skills. Your strength. Sometimes, you know, I don't know how to say that in English. But there's a say that says, like, you know, you become a king when you leave the country. You go out. And you go and experience the world, right? Okay, because the people, the family, our friends, sometimes they're the one that could be blocking, could be blocking you, all right? In reaching your highest potential because they they know that they can't do it or I can't really explain. It's hard to really understand, but there's some people that feel like the fact that you are successful or you're following your your passion it's making them feel insecure about theirs, especially if they haven't done or they they don't want to reach or they're just, I don't know what the issue is. You guys let me know how to describe this if that resonates with you, all right? But you're the Ten of Pentacles. You're the most secure one. You have skills in abundance. There's a lot for you to give in this life, for you to also receive. All right, but the most important thing is to be secure. Okay, Ten of Pentacles was in a reverse though. All right, so something also about a Pisces, Aquarius energy I have here. Tell me more about this uh, Ten of Pentacles in a reverse. All right, it could talk about family also. It's in a reverse, like a reverse could be like uh, not getting support. All right. Queen of Cups, wow, it's exactly this. Queen of Cups, she's in a reverse. She needs total, she needs this. This is how you make this Queen of Cups happy. You give her support. Because this is water, the maximum, most unconditional love that is provided by this Queen of Cups energy. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And then this Ten of Pentacles is what she needs to put her feelings that are all over watery, all over the place, water, water, in safe, secure position. That's what she needs. She needs Ten of Pentacles. She's not a gold digger, first of all. That don't make her, that don't make a woman a gold digger. Absolutely not. That makes a woman being one 
feeling wanted because then someone is able to say, okay, so I know your emotions are big and wide. I don't want you to get lost and make the wrong decision. So then I'm going to give you security. All right. But someone don't want that. And that's the reason they betray. You could have been betrayed for, because see you guys, if there's something special about you, you could be around the wrong friends. All right. And they'll be hating on you. They could be talking to other friends together and try to see how they could hate on you together. All right. And then you feel you 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 don't get the support when you need it. It's not there. It's because you're supposed to support yourself. And the moment you put that love in yourself, you love yourself the most and you secure your feeling first yourself. This is when unconditional, unconditional love reaches the sky and the most high and then the most high take care of you. That is why Venus is exalted in Pisces. It's exalted in the house of Jupiter. It's in Pisces and they say it's the house of, the house of God because she just focused on giving unconditional love and the universe respond to her by giving her the security so she could go on and just give the love to, to, to the world. And that could be you. It's time to step into your career. Maybe your career as a nurse, as a, a special doctor or a teacher or a special education, educational aid, blah, 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 dot, dot, dot. I don't know what that is, but I feel like there's a need for you after not being appreciated and you know, having, having seen people trying to take cups out of your lips, take things out of your hand, just so you don't get to shine, but you're the star. All right. And it's time to step in into your role, your throne. Okay. I'm going to end this reading here for you, my collective. Let me know how this resonates with you. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel, show your support. Like and share the video and until next time, send you lots of kisses. I love you.